Hi, I'm Maimon, and welcome back to my videos on home security and video surveillance systems. In this video, we're going to talk about setting up the PiCU <laughs> TZHB312 as a standalone camera. Afterwards, standalone suggests you don't have to buy an NVR in order to make this camera work. You can actually make it work using just Wi Fi. Now, this is around $48, but I think right now it's on sale for $40, so the price might change. And you might be able to contact the seller for an 8% discount. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I think. But like I said before, this, this camera can act standalone, which means that I can use my phone, in fact, to view the camera feed, as long as I set it up properly. To set up the camera standalone is very easy. You can either use the manual to find out how to set it up, or you can watch this video. And trust me, it's amazing. The HiCU comes with the HiCU camera comes with a manual that helps you understand how to set up the uh, camera. But for, and from what I can tell, it has two sides: one in Chinese, this, which it's huge, expands, and one side in English. Now, a downside to this manual, even though it is very helpful, is that it is really small. Uh, my dad needs glasses to see some of these. Uh, you might not be able to tell from video because of the good resolution, but it's a bit harder to tell in real life. So, the, what the manual describes is that you can, how to download the app, how to operate the software, how to add a device, but mainly what we're interested in right now is how to 3.2 add wireless camera for iOS. So <laughs> I gotta be honest with you right now. We haven't set up the camera standalone, so it's gonna be both mine and your first impression of how to set it up. But basically, it's saying first that in order to set up the camera, we want to maybe I should maybe I should look at how to do that first. <laughs> All right, so we're back. Um, it's about 15 minutes since I did the last clip. And we're just going to do this the way that I was able to explore it. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is obviously we're going to install the app. The app that I used this time was IP Pro. So let me just log in real quickly. Of course, the first thing you need to do is you need to plug in the uh, HiCU app, the HiCU camera. The next thing you need to do is because it's not totally standalone, you're going to take the, uh, you're going to connect it to the router. So right now we have Ethernet connected all the way to the router in a different room. And this might not be long enough to connect it, but I'm going to put it in. And right now they're connected. Now, this should start blinking at some point. So while we do that, let me just load up IP Pro. So IP Pro is currently on in my phone. What we want to do now. Okay, so you just heard that? That came from the speaker from, from right here, but you can't see it because it's not faced towards you. The first time I heard that, I, <laughs> that, that was creepy. The first time I heard that, I was so shocked. Um, I didn't expect it to do that, but I think it said something about configuration. And after it said that, the configuration light started, deep, uh, started blinking. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to... Oh, we're going to go to our, don't worry about that. We're going to join the device hotspot. Now, if you look really closely, it says IPC random numbers. So we're going to look for something similar right here. Ignore surveillance man and all of that. Uh, we're going to click IPC. <laughs> so it should take a while to set up and you should look for the actual Wi-Fi signal to appear on your top left. And when it does, you should be good to go. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to <laughs> IP Pro. And I'm not sure if it works with the LTE right now because it takes it does take a while to set up. But if it doesn't work, we'll figure out how to troubleshoot it. For now, what we're going to do is we're going to add the device. So in order to do that, we click plus. And according to the instructions, they they usually have a, when you press add right here, that it should have like add standalone camera kit, but on, as you can see on mine, it doesn't have those options. 
And I'm guessing that this is an updated version that they probably forgot to change. So what we're going to do instead is you can go back to the main menu. Oh yeah, and by the way, actually, what I should do is um, log out because the original IP Pro looks like... Okay, you have a login page. When you have this login page, what you can do is instead of logging in, just click local experience. And then you'll be able to see whatever you've already set up. Now going back to what we're doing to link the camera, we're going to click plus, and instead of clicking add because we can't find the camera there, we're going to click scan. If you noticed earlier, the device has a QR code on it. Now please don't, <laughs> please don't connect to our camera using the QR code or the device number. Uh, so you're just going to take scan, and as you can see it says please put the device QR code or barcode into the scan box. I'm going to do that. It might take a while because it's a very... Okay. So now it's connected. Please don't use it to spy on us. I mean, if you want to, um, you, you, you put a lot of effort into this, obviously, but <laughs> really, <laughs> please don't do it. Uh, right now, you can see that there's a setup menu. Okay, now what we're going to do is, you can see all the stuff is already set up. Uh, you don't have to put in anything for password, if I think correctly. So right now, we're just going to click complete. Okay, so it looks like even though the Wi-Fi signal isn't up, uh, that we're connected to it. Okay, it's mobile network currently. Are you sure to continue playing? Okay, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a translation error. Uh, con continue. Yeah, yes, I, I see. So I think it's pointing up at the ceiling right now. Now, if by this point you've tried to connect and it doesn't seem to be popping up, what you can do is you can try resetting the device. Now, I'm not sure if this is a true workaround because I was just finagling with the camera and just trying to see what would happen and I just ended up factory or setting it by holding down the reset button. Uh you can see you'll see when it does that. Store, factory settings, the camera will restart automatically. So yeah, after you hear that creepy voice, you should try to set it up again. Uh and I should also mention that when you try to connect to the oh, Wi Fi the the password for the IPZ according the IPC according to the manual is one 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 that's eight ones right there so in order to connect to the hotspot just just remember that uh let's see anything else because <laughs> i gotta tell you honestly when i was trying to set up this camera i did not have anything to guide me i was configuration mode I... <laughs> oh my god that's never gonna get old I was, I was just trying to figure out how this camera worked, and I just got it working through some method. So essentially, what this process boils down to, if my sort of rambling didn't seem to make sense, first thing you want to do is download the app, you want to log in by using local experience, then you want to uh, connect to the Wi-Fi, remember the, not surveillance fan, IPZ, using the password 11111111. You want to go to your app and then you want to click scan you want to scan the barcode you want to click uh approve it uh when you get to the settings and then finally this little thing should pop up now if you only want to see that one camera uh we're gonna set it to instead of four channels because that was four cameras you're gonna set it to one complete and then you can see that's only set up to one so when you click on that Press continue. If you don't have, if if you follow this process and it doesn't work for you, just try to keep finagling with it so that it, you can restart it, you can plug it in and out again, turn it off and on again, pretty much whatever any IT person would do in this situation. And don't forget to, to hook up your wireless router, your, your um, internet router. So right now, you can see on the phone what it looks like. So right now, the camera looks very weird you can see that there's two black dots up here and 
the ceiling fan seems to be very warped. Now the reason for that, it might only be on mine, because I, I finagled settings a bit, but you can go to the bottom right, display mode has different settings. There's a... I forgot what it's called actually. It has it in the settings, but they are. And I think it's right... So you gotta do a lot of flipping through the instructions for this. So, four screen mode is this one. I'm not sure why it's called that. I, I think it's because of the four screens, guys. There's also corridor mode. And I think that it's... I actually can't really tell. Um, then there's also cylinder mode. This one looks really weird. I, I'm i not sure what this one would be used for. And finally, there's also the regular way. The regular one. This one's called original mode. <laughs> so right now we're going to point the camera. So you can see... Wait, what the? Uh, excuse me? Um, okay. I don't think that's supposed to happen. But anyway, when we move the camera around, you can see that it's also moving in the phone. <laughs> and right now I'm I'm get I'm in, internally I'm giggling like a little kid because whenever something like this works after a lot of finagling you know that feeling of success that you probably are gonna have when you set up this camera that's what I'm getting right now. Let's see if I can make it go Inception. Oh, so you can see that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, all right. So talking more about the features, um, let's take a look here. This first logo looks like a ceiling security camera. So if we tap on that, it seems like it switches to a wall security camera. So instead of being circular, it shows rectangular um, or fisheye rectangular view. Anyway, the point is, it looks really weird. And I think that the, the point of some of the um, display modes is to... Really, I, I don't really understand some of these functions. I know that switching it to a rectangular view makes it fish-eyed. But when it has a ceiling camera view, it has different options. So I'm guessing that that refers to when you have a, this camera mounted on the ceiling and you want to view it in a different way. Now also, it has a weird landscape um, function. I don't know why it warps the photo image like that, but when you... Switch it to wall view, it shouldn't be a problem. Also, you can turn on sound right here. Right here. Yeah. There right we here. go. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> anyway, so that's the sound function. And that was also used on these cameras up here. Uh, so you can hear sound from those cameras, but, it's, but unlike those cameras, these cameras have a micro microphone function. So let's take a look at that. At the bottom here, you see these obvious um, buttons that tell you exactly what they're gonna do. But the one we're focused on is microphone. You can press and hold the microphone to start the recording. So like I said before, you just, like I did before, you just press the microphone button and what you do is you hold and talk. Hello? Hello? Wow, that's the intercom system for you, and uh, into it's also a demonstration of the quality of its speaker. I'll leave the quality of it up to you, the viewer, to see if you like the quality. Finally, you can hang it up. And I think you can also see the latency of it. I think this is... If you move it around, let's, let's do that. That's all for now. Uh, I guess I should say right now that... I already know that this video is going to be really long, and I know that people who are trying to set up this camera might not be looking forward to videos that are this long. I do apologize for that. Most of, this, most of these videos about the high cu are me just amazed at the capabilities of it. So you might see me rambling a lot because it's just so amazeballs. But I think I said that in one of my videos, word for word, I said that. But it really is an amazing camera. There are some downsides though, which I might talk about in a future video, so stay tuned for that. But for now, I, I already said that, but that's it for this video. I'm Aiman, and thanks for watching. Please like, rate, comment, subscribe, and look at our videos on I and Aiman. Especially, to keep a lookout for the high CU camera videos, especially the home security and video surveillance videos. And we're also going to be doing a video on how to connect the 
high-seq cameras to an NVR. So stay tuned. I'm Maimon, and that's it. Signing out. Peace.